Hi everybody and welcome to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. In this video we begin with a story from the subreddit Relationship Advice with a nosy mom that has two updates and then we move on to a beautiful malicious compliance. Of course don't forget about the timestamps if you want to move around in the video and now let's get started with that first story. This post is from the subreddit Relationship Advice and it's by user Ugh, help me please. My roommate's 21 female parents keep letting themselves into my 21 female apartment with the spare key my roommate gave them. Background. My parents are family friends with my roommate's parents. I was never really friends with my roommate in high school, but got to know her from living with her in a dorm. Recently, my parents got me an apartment and pay rent every month, so pretty much roommate's parents don't pay. Over the past few months, when we come home from class, we have walked in on 1. Her mom doing our laundry almost every week. 2. Her mom cooking food and cleaning for us. 3. Her mom cleaning my effing closet and calling me a floozy for having tube tops and mini skirts, etc. 4. Her mom and dad chilling at the apartment Friday nights to make sure we don't party. I just can't deal anymore. I told my roommate to tell them to stop, but she said I'm overreacting. Am I overreacting? Should I tell my parents? I have lost my mind. Literally. Help. What? OP overreacting? No, your roommate's an idiot. Just let me get this straight. Your parents rent you an apartment where your roommate is living in for free and her parents feel they have some sort of right to dictate how you live in your own place? Sure, you don't pay rent. Fine, your parents do and they gave that to you. So yeah, it is your place. In any case, like I said in the beginning, no OP, you are not overreacting and your roommate is an idiot. You should definitely tell your parents what's going on. They need to know. And also, maybe you want to change the locks in your apartment and think about giving your roommate a key. Honestly, I'm baffled by the entitlement of some people that just feel like they have a right to somebody else's house just because they are the child of a friend. What the hell, man? No, that's so wrong. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know your opinion in the comment section and now let's move on to the community comments to see what they had to say. Goddess of the Trees says, Oh my effing helicopter psychos. Tell her to have this stop immediately. This is a gross invasion of your space. Your home is supposed to be your sanctuary. If they continue, get the locks changed as soon as possible. And OP responds, I can't. The building management doesn't allow lock changes and everyone is allowed to have a spare, so they can't help. Oh. She doesn't seem to think it's a big deal either. Eleni Farrell says, To be honest, if they're not paying, they're abusing the purpose of the key. I think you need to tell your parents, who are paying for it, so it's technically their apartment, because they might not be comfortable with what's going on, regardless of being friends. Know how quickly drama can start, I'd personally tell my parents to ask them to deal with my roommate's parents. You don't want to have to deal with this while your roommate tells her parents you're being mean and rude, and then her parents start crap with your parents. Whiskey Dreams 4592 says, Ditch the roommate. The lack of boundaries she has with her folks is spilling onto you, and that's not fair. If you don't feel comfortable enough forcing your own boundaries with these people, roommates and her parents, then get your parents involved. I'd suggest saying, It is inappropriate for you to enter my apartment when we're not here. And I'm not comfortable with you having a key as you've abused the privilege. Please hand it back now. If you'd like to see your daughter, she will let you know a good time when we're both ready for visitors. Harsh yes. Necessary yes. Opie's mini update. I told my older brother about what happened, emailed my building manager and was able to get a response from him saying I can put a lock on my bedroom door. Me and my brother went to Home Depot and got a basic lock. Her mom is currently cooking in the kitchen and watching my brother fix the lock. She doesn't look too happy. I'll update you all again when I tell my parents. Opie's update. I think I need to clarify something. The reason my roommate isn't paying rent is cause her parents hit a tough spot financially last winter and my dad wanted to ease the burden on them a little. He said he would help out by giving my roommate a place to stay so her parents could just worry about her tuition and not room and board. 
Edit 2. I might tell my parents about it. I just didn't want to ruin their friendship as they were close friends for a long time. Alright, well, community absolutely thinks OP needs to do something about this and apparently telling the parents is the go-to response and is what OP wants to do as well. So now let's move on to the first update and see what happened then. I came back from my morning run around 7am this morning and roommate's mom and roommate were in the kitchen making some coffee. She has never been there this early before. So I decided to talk to them about everything prior to going to class. I started off with, hey auntie, can we talk? In brown culture, everyone is called an aunt. And these are some points I listed. 1. I appreciate that she has been cooking and cleaning, but I want to do that on my own. I love to cook and felt that I was never allowed in my own kitchen. I also told her that I want to do my own laundry and clean my room myself. 2. I don't want her in my room. I reminded her that I talked to her about this when it first happened and that's why I put the lock on the door. And 3. I told her that if she wants to be with roommate, to let roommate text me and let me know that roommate's mom would be in the apartment. They expressed understanding and I hugged it out with my roommate's mom. Before going to class, I put a load of laundry. My friend is having a birthday dinner today and I decided to wear this cute white dress with an open back. My mom even got me this dress since she thought it was so cute and tossed it in the washer so it could be fresh for tonight. I asked my roommate's mom multiple times if she was planning on doing laundry today. She said no. I told her that I would be back around 1 and she can do laundry when I finish mine later this afternoon if needed. I didn't want her touching my clothes. She was okay with it and said the roommate didn't have any laundry today. Cool. I left feeling relieved, but I still locked my bedroom door. I got back to my apartment about half an hour ago and I couldn't find my white dress. As soon as I came home, roommate looked nervous. My clothes were in the dryer and I didn't do that for a fact. Roommate's mom states that I put them in the dryer and just forgot. Ugh! I locked myself in my room and I know she probably took the dress as it was something she wouldn't approve of. When I was in my room, I heard roommate's mom talking to roommate in our language. She told her daughter something along the lines of, I don't know why she's freaking out about that dress. In India, escorts and floozies wear those kinds of clothing. And she went on to tell roommate that I won't find a husband wearing stuff like this. I honestly think she wanted me to hear that. Is she seriously just being a passive aggressive bitch to me right now? I'm trying so hard not to break down and cry. I'm heading over to my parents right now and I'm telling them everything when they come back tonight. I'll keep you posted. Yikes. OP, I have to say, I don't think she's being passive aggressive, I think she's being aggressive aggressive. But regardless, let's move on to the final update and see what happened when OP told her parents. I think roommate's mom is crazy and needs a mental health checkup. Seriously, I am very worried about her well-being. My mom was home along with my brother, my brother's girlfriend and her parents. I told them everything that happened and no one liked what they heard. My mom called my dad to tell him what happened. When my dad came home, he hugged me immediately and started crying. Me being called a call girl and a floozy was too much for him to handle. I've never seen dad cry before and it hurt me so, so bad. My mom called roommate's mom and roommate's dad and roommate to come over to talk. They came over immediately. They probably knew something was up from the tone of my mom's voice. She was so close to growling. Mom was being petty though when they came home. She didn't allow them inside. She made them stand on the doorstep the whole time and I could tell this was pissing roommate's mom off. Some points of the conversation. 1. Why are you calling my daughter these names? Roommate's mom says, I didn't say anything, she's making up lies. 2. Why are you even in the apartment that much? You told us that you go there once a month to check on roommate. You also said she visits you every weekend? And roommate's mom responded, The kids don't know how to cook, so I help. Also, kids are busy studying, so they need it. 3. Why is a 50-year-old man in my daughter's apartment? No answer. 4. Why are you going through my daughter's stuff? Why does she need a lock? Why are you limiting my daughter's time with her friends? Again, no answer. 
Aishel also mentioned that roommate's dad was sitting in their car on the driveway during this whole confrontation. But things got heated up really quickly. Roommate's mom started insulting my parents. She said my mom is a bad mom because she never disciplined her children. She said I am unruly and that the clothes I wear are despicable. She brought up clothes a crap ton like this lady is really offended by my fashion sense. This annoyed my brother and he showed roommate's mom Instagram pictures of roommate wearing more revealing clothing than me and sitting on boy's laps. Roommate's mom shut her mouth about my clothes immediately. She then proceeded to try to insult my parents' professions by saying they have God complexes. This pissed my brother off to the brink and he replied with, You own three subways and are almost broke, but we never say anything about it. This pushed roommate's mom off the edge and she leaned in closer to my brother and attempted to slap him. This lady tried to slap my 24-year-old brother in front of my parents. They argued more and my mom asked where the dress was again. This time, she walked away to their car and pulled my dress out of her purse. She came back to where we were standing and literally threw the dress in my face. My mom had no more patience left and backslapped roommate's mom across her face. I've never seen my mom raise her hand on anyone and I burst out laughing. Even my dad had to walk back inside to keep himself from laughing in front of roommate's mom. Roommate's mom started crying and said she was going to call the cops on us. When they left, we had a big discussion. My parents were angry that I never told them about this before. They said that they got me that apartment so I could do what I wanted. They wanted me to be able to have friends over, have a place to chill and have a place without parental influence. However, they are very proud and happy with the way I dealt with the situation and said calling the cops would unnecessarily escalate the situation that could be solved by talking. Thank you for all the advice, I appreciate it a lot. Heart. They were mad at my brother cause they said he shouldn't have shown those pictures of roommate cause now she has to deal with that trouble at home. My parents agreed that letting roommate live in my apartment without consulting me first was wrong on their part. My parents started the eviction process today. Anyways, it may be hard to believe, but I do stand up for myself a lot. It's just that in this situation, I didn't want to do anything that would offend my parents because I had respect for their friendship and I didn't want to ruin it or do something that would embarrass my parents. I learned from this and I have growing up to do. But now that I know I have support, I won't worry about petty crap like this later. I also don't want to live alone, so one of my best friends from high school is going to be my new roommate. No, she isn't Indian and no one is living rent free in this situation. I would also like to say that even though I wasn't friends with roommate in high school, living with her for two years did help me make a bond with her. I don't know if we can be friends after this, but it feels bad losing a friend. Also. My parents are liberal as Indians. They have lived here in America for over 40 years. They didn't want to spy on me at all. They don't mind me wearing skirts or two tops or having guy friends over. Well, OP, good for you. Your parents came through and helped you get rid of that toxic woman. Now she's nowhere near your house or your life. Thanks for sharing, OP. Take care. And now let's move on to the next post. This post is from the subreddit Malicious Compliance and it's by user Alabastre. Ex-girlfriend wants to cut off our electricity, no problem. I was living with my girlfriend and a roommate and we split the cost of every bill even though each bill was in one person's name. Well, that was the idea, but I naively helped my girlfriend pay her part of the bills. It has paid completely for most of them. The rent was in my name, the electricity in my girlfriend's, etc. Well, I eventually got tired of her crap, arguments, smelly gerbils, not doing chores, and we broke up. It was messy. She took ages to move out, making sure to mooch every penny she could before leaving. When she left, I immediately started a new electricity account in my name. A week later, I got a letter of confirmation in the mail, but I also received the electricity bill for the last three months my ex was living with us. I opened it without thinking. We couldn't even pay it if we wanted to because the bill was in her name. I shot her a text. 
Yo, you got the electricity bill in the mail. It's 120 bucks, so come pick up 40 from each of us. Um, where's the other $40? We agreed I wouldn't pay for bills after I moved out. As if she did before. You were still living here for the time period of the bill. This is BS. I'm not going to pay a thing. We had an agreement. Well, you can come over to get our part, or you can pay it alone. The way I see it, you can either bring the $120 to my place, or have fun in the dark. <laughs> Lol. You got me there. At this point, I realized that she doesn't know I started my own account with the electricity provider. She thought that by refusing to pay, the provider would cut our lights. A good way to mooch another $40 from us, right? But that's not quite what happened. A few weeks later, I received another letter from the electric company with her name on it. Probably a late payment warning. I sent her a text to tell her, and she responded, Lol, why are you so desperate to talk to me? You know what you have to do, smiley face. Another letter came in for her. This one was probably late fees. I have to guess because I never opened them. I messaged her and she said, I thought I told you to never talk to me again. As you wish, ma'am. More letters arrived, but from a new address. I googled the new sender's address and found that they were debt collectors. Scary stuff. It's too bad I couldn't say a word to her. Now, about two or three months later, I received a phone call from my ex and I'm greeted by... What the F? These people are calling my parents' house. I've got all these late fees. Bah, debt collectors. I told her that if she wants our part of the bill, she knows what to do. Smiley face. Realizing that she had no other choice, she caved and came for the money. My roommate and I didn't give her a cent toward late fees, and I probably looked so effing smug giving her my money for the last time. Opie's edit. Lots of people are saying I shouldn't have given her a cent. As one Redditor eloquently put it, not paying it would be a dick move. Way more satisfaction in letting someone else get screwed while you play by all the rules. Ah, it's always nice to see some malicious compliance with a really nice side of petty revenge. You couldn't talk to her, so, well, you did what she asked. Thanks for sharing, OP. And it's that time that we've reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's stories. I certainly did reading them to you. So if you did, then go ahead and give the video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and become a member of our Discord community that just keeps growing and it is fantastic. And like I said in the beginning of the video, all of the relevant links are in the video description below. So be sure to check them out. And finally, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys enjoy this content, so thank you once again. And having said all that, I will see you guys in the next video.